Hello everyone and welcome to Roadmap. So today's topic is soma clonal variations. And if you like the video, don't forget to click on thumbs up button below. You can also subscribe for more video updates. In, now coming to the introduction. Now a thought which must be coming to your mind after hearing soma clonal variations is that what is exactly soma clonal variations? So the genetic variations which are found in the in vitro cultured cells are collectively referred as soma clonal variations and the calciclones and protoclones which are the terms used to represent callus and protoplast uh, respectively and growth of the plant cells in in vitro is as sec a sexual process involving only mitotic divisions of cells Culturing of cells is a method to clone a particular genotype. Now it is therefore expected that plants arising from a given tissue culture should be exact copies of the parental plant. The occurrence of the phenotypic variations among the regenerated plants from tissue culture has been known for several years. So these variations were earlier dismissed as tissue culture artifacts. And the term sona clonal variations was first coined by Larkin and Scorecroft in 1981 for variations arising due to culture of cells, that is, variability generated by plant tissue culture. Now, the explants which is used in tissue culture, it may be a leaf, root, or stem, may become from any part of the plant organs or cells. These include leaf, roots, protoplast, microspores and embryos. Loma clonal variations are reported in all types of plant tissue culture. The gametoclonal variations is used for variations which are observed in the regenerated plants from the gametic cells. Example the anther cultures. Now the plants which are obtained from protopla protoplast culture is called as protoplast variation. Thus, there are some bases of somaclonal variation. Somaclonal variations occur as a result of genetic heterogeneity, which is change in chromosomes number or structure in plant tissue cultures. And this may be due to the expression of chromosomal mosaicism or genetic disorders, spontaneous mutations due to cultural conditions. The genetic changes which are associated with somaclonal variations include polyploidy or nuploidy, chromosomal breakage, the lesion, translocation, and genetic amplifications. Besides several chromosomal abrasions, reciprocal translocation, the lesions, inversion, chromosomal breakage, multicentric, eccentric fragments have been found among the soma clones of barley, garlic, and oat. The occurrence of mutations in cultures is relatively low. Mutations may be due varied nutrition, nutrients, culture, conditions, and mutagenic effects of metabolic products that accumulate in the medium. Now, the somaclonal variations due to transposable elements, mitotic crossing over, and changes in the cytoplasmic genome has, have also been reported. Now, isolation of the somaclonal variations. Now, there are two procedures which are involved for obtaining the crop plants with somaclonal variations. First is without in vitro selection and the other is with in vitro selection. Coming to the without in vitro selection, an explant is cultured on a suitable medium supplemented with growth regulators. The unorganized callus and cells do not contain any selective agent. These cultures are normally subcultured and transferred to short induction medium for regeneration of plants. The so produced plants are grown in pots transferred to field and analyzed for somaclonal variations. Now, the somaclonal variations of several crops have been successfully obtained by this approach. Example, the sugarcane, potato, tomato, cereals. Now, limitations of without in vitro selection approach. There are some limitations. So, there is no directed and specific approach for the isolation of somaclutes without in vitro selection. The appearance of desired threat is purely by chance and the procedure is time consuming. It requires screening of many plants. 
Coming to the with in vitro selection, isolation of soma clones with in vitro selection method is basically involves handling of plant cells and cultures like microorganisms and selection of biochemical mutants. The cell lines are screened from plant cultures for their, uh, for their ability to survive in the presence of a toxic or inhibitory substance in a medium or under controlled conditions of environment sites. The differentiated callus obtained from an explant is exposed in medium to inhibitors like toxins, antibiotics, amino acid analogs. Selection cycles are carried out to isolate tolerant callus cultures and these calli are regenerated into plants. The plants so obtained are in vitro screened against the toxic toxin. So the plants res are resistant to the toxin are selected and grown further by vegetative propagation or self-pollination. The subsequent generations are analyzed for disease resistant plants against the specific pathogenic organism. Now the environmental stress tolerance. High salt concentration in the soil is a major constraint limiting the crop development and the yield. Many plants with salt tolerance, that is salinity, have been developed, example rice and tobacco. Several attempts are being made by biotechnologists to develop cold tolerant crops, although the success rate has been very limited. Now coming to the advantages of with in vitro selection. The major advantage of with in vitro selection method is specific selection of desired threat rather than a general variation found at a plant level. This procedure is less time consuming when compared to without in vitro selection. Now coming to the factors affecting production of soma clonal variations. Now there are some factors with that influence development of soma clonal variations by without in vitro selection and with in vitro selection. First, genotype and explant source. The nature of genotype of the plant influences the frequency of regeneration and the frequency of production of soma clones. Explants can be taken from any part of the plant, that is leaves, fruits, internodes, ovaries, any part of the plant. So the source of the explant is very critical for soma clonal variations. For instance, potato plants regenerated from callus of rachis and petiole are much higher compared to those which are regenerated from callus of leaves. Now coming to the duration of cell culture. For many plant cultures, soma clonal variations are higher with increased duration of cultures. Now coming to the example, it was reported that the genetic variability increased in tobacco protoplast from 1.5 to 6% by doubling the duration of cultures. Coming to the growth hormone effects. The plant growth regulators in the medium will influence the karyotypic alterations in cultured cells and therefore development of soma clones. Growth hormones such as 2,4-D and NAA that is naphthalin acetic acid are frequently used to achieve chromosomal variability. Besides the factor, selection of soma clonal variations with in vitro selection are dependent on some of the parameters like the selection of propagule that is cells, protoplast, calli, selection of agent that is toxin, herbicide, amino acid, analog, technique which are used for selection and the stability of resistant substance, in vivo testing procedure, ability for regeneration of plants. So these are the some of the factors which are also included in, with in vitro selection. So I hope that you are enjoying the video. Stay tuned for more lessons to come. In the coming lessons, we'll learn about the applications of soma clonal variations. If you have any doubts, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.